Those left to tread the boards are all legends of the game, including a Scandinavian hotshot, one of the infamous Hendon mob and the Queen Bee of Poker. They've all won some big time tournaments and bundles of cash in the past, but how will they fare at the PartyPoker.net World Open 3? Welcome to the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. 72 players have been invited to compete in one of the most prestigious titles in poker. 12 heats, two semis and one final will all be played out as our players make their moves towards that $500,000 prize pool. Tonight, it's the last heat in the first round and with just one place remaining in the semi-final, we can expect a fast-paced game with some aggressive moves. Jesse May and Roland DeWolf give us a rundown of the tournament so far. Roland, last week Ram Vaswani made a real statement. He did, he, he made a statement to say, look, I'm very good and I'm very, very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that's a combination that's kind of unbeatable, isn't it? It's my favorite combination in poker, Jesse. <laughs> well, everyone's going to be looking to Ram now, but one feet left, last seat in the semi-final, and maybe the best for last. I've never seen this guy Thomas Walrus play, but you know him. Thomas is a good friend of mine, Thomas Walrus, the Walrus, obviously they call him. Uh, he is a very, very exciting player. He is uh, full of table talk and very fun to watch. And he's not, not afraid to uh, put his chips in or, or even call them off. So I'll be looking for big things for him today. But it's a great lineup overall. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, Liz Liu, we've come to know her as one of the top female players in the world. Top, top poker players, full stop. Yeah, I mean, Liz is a fantastic player. She's uh, never afraid to put her money in. But what a lineup. I mean, uh, Kevin O'Connell. Uh, fresh from his uh, non-drinking, he looks like a new man. <laughs> and we have uh, LaSalle Barrow, he, he's a wild card and um, you never know what to expect from him. And John Houston, who's got a great record in these things. Yeah, you can't forget John Houston. He's won eight of these preliminary heats on the trot. Let's have a look at the lineup tonight. It is the last seat in the semis. My name's Liz Liu. I'm from Los Angeles and Vegas, um, United States. Um, I haven't played with four, four players, but uh, Thomas happens to be my ex-teammate, so, and he's a very, very good player. I don't think I really have an edge. <laughs> We're playing with all pros here, so everybody plays a lot like everybody. Um, it's going to be a very, very fair game. My name's John, Texas Houston, from Birmingham. I've been playing poker now just over 20 years. I've got good form in these, and a lot of people are saying that, you know, because you've won so many of them, that, you know, it's a clear gone conclusion. But it, it, this is a hard table, and, you know, you just got to give you your best shot, it's the cards on the day. I'm Kevin O'Connell, uh, I'm from Birmingham, Lancashire. I've been playing for a long, long time, years and years. How I'm feeling today, I feel okay. It's a very difficult table to play, honestly. There's very, very experienced players at the table, but uh, we'll just have to see how it goes. There's not many things going through my head this morning in time about the game today. I, I couldn't really tell you what's going to give anybody the edge. If you can tell when they're making the move, then that's going to give anybody the edge. The Cell Barrow, I'm from London. Um, I've been playing poker for about three years. And how do I feel today? A little bit intimidated. But then again, someone's got to win and it could be me. <laughs> I think I've got to worry about all of them. They're um, very professional guys. Been around a long time. But I love playing poker, so that should be fun. My name is Joe Beavers. I'm from Hendon. I've been playing poker professionally for over 15 years. Um, I'm feeling very relaxed today. I'm really looking forward to it. There's some very good players at the table. I mean, all of them can play. Uh, all of them have won things. Um, they've all got my respect. We'll see what happens. Probably one of my biggest advantages in events like this is my experience. I've played so many of them. 
Uh, I made a lot, a lot of final tables. Uh, I won a lot of money payments the, uh, the, these type of televised events. Um, and I think experience is, is crucial. My name is Thomas Walrus. I'm from Helsinki, Finland. I've been playing poker for about five years and I um, feel pretty good. There's no sort of uh, young, fierce Scandinavians to worry about, so this should be a walk in the park. Basically, my tactics today is going to be like, I'm going to just fill out the field for a while, see how they're doing, and then uh, pick my spots and uh, move in. Under the heading of saving the best for last, this heat. A Sunday with a hot fudge, whipped cream, and a cherry on top. Six old toughies looking for that last place in the semifinal. The chips on this table, the yellow's worth a thousand, the blues are two, the red's five thousand apiece, and uh, the duck is not worth much at all. <laughs> if there's six hundred thousand in chips at this table, you must take them all to pieces. <laughs> the white shoed woolless. <laughs> Is uh, another pub in my area. You can squeeze this cart. And you were saying you were thinking about opening up a chain of pubs, Pass. the Tilted Walrus. Yeah, yeah, the Tilted Walrus is a, a, a pub that me and Thomas plan to open in our. Raised to six thousand total. Beavers has a very rocky reputation around the circuit, and cool. uh, <laughs> maybe Thomas Walrus doesn't know it firsthand. Joe's raised with the Ace King, and Walrus has called him. Suspicious Liz. <laughs> Thomas is very. Uh, very keen to comment on other players play within the hands. <laughs> what, what, do, do you think that call by Walrus there, I mean, is an indication that he might not know how valuable these chips are early on? <laughs> I think it's an <laughs> indication of uh, a certain lack of knowledge about the format. <laughs> Emergency it's slot. Hey, left, didn't Mari left, just say something about I've three nines? Emergency slot. This is sort of a bad okay. party story. Check. But. Joe's hand is best, 10, and he's come right out betting with it. Thomas can get very stubborn in these situations, but I think he's going to let this Pass. one go. Smile on our muck. <laughs> All right, see? That's all it takes, Pass. see? So you know what? This is weird, right? Did he, did it, anybody yeah, didn't he just did say anybody three nines? Did anybody have two fives here? Because I've got ace nine. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Marty, did you see that? Unbelievable, huh? This low has been to the fair recently, won a lot of jewellery in those uh, mm -hmm. machines yeah, that like dip down and <laughs> pick it up. She's an engaging presence at the table. and um, hey, A lot of people didn't know how, how well she played No Limit Hold'em. I mean, I didn't. You know, I know she's mostly known for her, her limit, high stakes limit play, but uh, Pass. she did very well in the Premier League. Yeah, she, she? she played well. I mean, these tournaments are um, easier to adapt Pass. to than a deep multi-payer or, or a, ca a cash game, but she's certainly played Pass. well. And uh, she is one of the most feared live limit players around. She plays very high stakes. Raised to 5,000 total. In LA, Pass. where she's from, LA girl. Yep. Yeah. Kevin Connell's saying something. We weren't exactly Pass. sure what it was. It's, it's, it's amazing. You'd think the fact, uh, a lot of people thought that he slurred his words, but the truth is it's just his accent, isn't it? <laughs> it's a new discovery. <laughs> He is one of the most fun players on the circuit. Yeah. Yeah. He's one of the most fun people. No one actually yeah, right. considered him a player, but <laughs> here he is. Do, do you know? Do you know that he? he do you know he's colorblind? Do you know that? And it's a true story. He told me when he was 18 years old, the way he found out he was colorblind. His first job was as an electrician's assistant. <laughs> they said, go in that hole and connect the red to the blue. But if you touch the green, you'll die. <laughs> and he went in and yes. realized he was colorblind. <laughs> and, uh, into another line of work. Pass. Wow. This will be, I think, the second consecutive Raised pot that Liz has raised. I wonder if she'll get action. Pass. Cool. And uh, LaSalle Barrow, the last time he played on TV, he won his heat What's rolling, but this is a very this? tough lineup, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. It is indeed. It's, it's, uh, I, thought, I thought I haven't got ace now. It's going to be difficult. Well. What am I doing in this pot? <laughs> Top pair for the Wolves. Did you lift? Did you lift? Did you lift? Did you lift? Check. That was funny. Check. Though. Why do you think Liz has checked it? Obviously, she doesn't want to make a, the pot big without a, a strong hand with an overcard to her tens. So it'd probably be more profitable for her to check and call. Problem is, uh, check. well, the cells picked up the flush draw here. 
He's got one over card to the board and then an, that flash draw. He's looking to check core here. 9,000. Has, has Liz sort of backed herself into a bit of a pickle here? Well, I think the spell should have really bet here because he, he's calling to hit, and if he hits, the, card, the flash card will kill the action. There's the river. Barrow needs a club or an ace. That's probably his the best card he can get. Check. He checks it. Well, Liz has got a real problem here. She, if a Barrow was calling on the queen, she could win with a bet. And if he wasn't, then what? She's going to try and represent the ace here to scare him off. Little does she know how it's happened. This is a bit of a disaster for Liz. Cool. Cool. Yeah, Liz knows exactly what happened when he called, and that is the story. The cell looks sheepish. <laughs> he did, but... Uh, with a hand on late night post. All well, he did was play his hand, wasn't it? Yeah. And a backward Doesn't step for Liz Lou, but we know she can play off a short stack. Little. In this game, your luck can twist and turn. It can all come down to the river card to send you packing or fly you into the final. Back with more after the break. This is the PartyPoker.net World Open 3. Our players tonight are studying the competition. A shift in their seats, a glance away from the table, or a touch of the face could send any of these players back to the green room. Let's get back to the game. Walrus is actually in a, a, a bit of bad shape here. I mean, he's managed Pass. to hold on Pass. to 70,000, which is pretty good considering uh, he's he's been out ace twice in a row, really. Pass. And uh, would almost have an excuse for having about half his stack left or less. Yeah, I think that he did uh, he did the minimum there. And, um, Liz is, uh, is perhaps even total. lower. Cool. John Houston is not folding a, a minimum raise. No. Oh. I don't really like the, the call there by Kevin. Well, would you say it's a good time to re-raise? It's a good time to re-raise. I don't think anyone has a strong enough hand of his opponents. If he does hit a set, he'll get paid off. And, I mean, is he more influenced by the fact that John Houston's in the middle, that he wants to narrow the pot down? Or? I think that's also a factor. Check. Kevin should have raised there. Two eights in the big blind. Find out at least where he is. Now he's gone behind and... Uh, even if he hasn't, he, did, he wouldn't know where the eights were. 7,000. There he goes. Wow, look at this. Johnny Houston does not believe Liz has an ace. She does have one. And total. does she know much about this character, Johnny Houston? No, but Houston? I think the way that Pass. John Houston did it so quickly, um, and the strength he did, I think Liz is, is going to pick up on that and is going to go with the hand. What do you think? It's 15,000 more, Roland. Is there any issue about her kicker, or is the question whether or not he has an ace? I think that there, there are certain other hands that John could have. He doesn't have to have an, even an ace, so she's going to say that if he, if he has a beat. I mean, he, she's probably ruling out ace-king at this point, and ace-queen because he would have re-raised. Re so ace-10 may be beating her, but she's going to be pretty confident she has the best hand here. It's very easy to put him on a draw here, but certainly not a stone-cold bluff. Jack eight of hearts. I think he, 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 looks, he looks nervous. This is, is, a, is a good experience live there. She'll pick up on that. I'll be very surprised if she passes here. But you know, the read is important as well. Does she read him as being weak? Does she feel him weak? In the larger championship, I wear shades for one hand. I couldn't see my cards. Screw this. Liz <laughs> may have a, a small problem in that she's uh, so mine. I've never see seen Johnny. He's made the move early, not <laughs> after she's, not after they've been hand. sitting at the table for a while. Has he has he timed this well? He raised all in. Apparently not. That's strong by Liz. Okay, John knows now that he's a uh, oh, cookie dog. Oh, mine now. Pass. It's full of my money. <laughs> oh, you scared me. <laughs> And, uh, did, did Liz sort of make a decision there? Well, if he's got some kind of big flush draw or something, then we'll just have to gamble. <laughs> Sorry, she's thinking if if I'm behind here, then so be it. I'm going with it. There's there's so many hands that I'm actually beating. Uh, I don't really uh, mind taking the risk that I'm behind. So far, and Laurel, of course, you're not surprised by her medal, but do you think Johnny Houston has had a wake-up call? Then? <laughs> I think I think he perhaps has. <laughs> Oh, his, no, move, his move is, uh, is fair. Uh, I'm just saying that I have to win a pot before I leave this arena. 
It's too embarrassing otherwise. <laughs> Boy, we're always talking about the eggs again. And uh, Joe Beavers, he's the one guy who could actually fold this hand. Raise to 4,000 total. <laughs> Cool. Why did Walrus re-raise there? He's he's re-raised twice uh, and then laid down. I mean, certainly. Uh, Pass. If he if he re-raised well, here, yeah. Pass. He respects Joe Beavers. Uh, Joe Beavers is a very solid player, cool. and uh, he has the position. So he's just seeing seeing right exactly what happens. Big chance Joe Beavers could have a pair here and want to get in a race about it. Yeah, he's thinking if Joe Beavers has a big hand, he doesn't want to waste all his chips. Well, everybody's missed. Check. Lassell Barrow's Check. in here as well. Check. Go ahead. Free card. There is 16,000 in the pot. Great card for the Woolworths. Certainly is. Check. Will Joe Beavers now try and represent this guy? 6,000. <laughs> Maybe just because we can see the cards, but that does look like look like a bet that says, I know I have to bet, but I really don't want to. <laughs> it's a very small bet. Um, <laughs> I mean, if Sometimes Joe small, strong, small uh, means strong, but here yeah, definitely not. And Thomas, Thomas is not going away from this hand at all. I think he's cool. he's going to check call all the way down. Oh. Is, is he thinking that there's a stronger chance of Joe Beavers having something like three nines here than an ace? Than an ace? I think so. He also um, he doesn't need to make the pot big with just one pair. Well, the point of fact is Joe Beavers is drawing dead here, and I wonder how this is going to pan out. Will Wallace consider that a bad card? A very bad card if Joe had a pocket tens or a ace ten. If he did have a 10 rolling, wouldn't you would have heard, you would have heard, okay. heard, heard from him before. Ten thousand. A value bet from Thomas. This, no. this the way for thin value. This is like the way to for talk thin about. value bet that I've been talking about. It's betting when you you think you have the best hand and marginally. I mean, he knows that Joe Beavers doesn't have. He knows Joe Beavers doesn't have the straight. What can he, what can he get paid off here with? He can get paid off with a weaker ace, which is probably where he puts him. And and also he could also get two pairs to fold. Yes, and you shall receive. See. I played poker for about five years, but professionally for about a year and a half now. I think my friends sort of uh, when they first saw me play on TV or when I started playing poker, they thought it was sort of a joke that I'll just do this for a month or two. But then I started doing better and better. So now they're sort of impressed how how well I've sort of managed to do this. In my sort of poker career, I've sort of lifetime cashes of close to a million dollars. Never actually won anything, but uh, I made about 10 final tables last year. Um, this finish was uh, third place. Before I, I became a professional poker player, I used to work for Morgan Stanley here in London. Um, did that for about two years. If you compare my poker life with my sort of banking job, uh, I still say the hours are pretty much the same. When I was a banker, I used to sort of work very hard. Uh, say like 9 to 9 every day. Now I play poker, I, I usually put in like 12 hour days, but at least now I get to decide where I go and you know when I play poker. So, of course I have lots more freedom now. I think tournaments are fun. Um, these tournaments are always you know, fun to be on TV and uh, makes you feel a bit special when you get to sort of take part in these tournaments that aren't sort of open for absolutely everybody. So, these are fun. I think of the six players in my heat, I know actually three of them. I know uh, Liz Lou very well. We used to play in the same team, Martin's Poker, last year. And uh, I know Joe Beavers, and I know Kevin O'Connell. I still view myself as a good player. Uh, I played with all three of those. I actually played with Kevin last week at the Bellagio, so I, I sort of think I got his game figured out quite well. I had the best 10 all the way. What, the 10? <coughs> no, no, no. Much stronger. What, a 10 7? A nice hand. Pretty thin value bet on the river. But... <laughs> I never knew you steamed. Joe? Oh, you meant Joe. I don't steam. <laughs> Pass. Is that true? Is steam With a nickname steam? like the Tilted Walrus? Is it true <laughs> that steam, Thomas right? doesn't steam rolling? No, it's not true. No, it's a pretty <laughs> thin value bet. Oh, oh. <laughs> he 
said a pretty thin value Base, bet on the river. So total, we're singing right? from the same hymn sheet. Pass. <laughs> the Book of Woolless. <laughs> cool. Cool. Liz has made a six hour. Liz is in good form today. I, she's she's a lot of yeah, fun when she's in good here. spirits at the she table. Is, she is. When, Liz is. when things are going um, her way, she can. She's chirpy and uh, she's a pleasure to be around on the table. I like having Liz on the table. She's yeah, she is, she's fun. And uh, it's always fun to hit top pair as Liz has done here. And Check. LaSalle is sort of her nemesis at this stage at the table. And, uh, Liz, check the flop. In the same situation last time, not again. Ten thousand. LaSalle's thinking, geez, I beat her last time. <laughs> no. Pass. This is the real problem with calling with that pair out of position. Looking at the leaderboard, they've played oh and even ten hands or so, and Liz has won four of them, but it was the last one that got her back to even. The leader still right now, Marcel Barrow. Still a full table of six, yeah. and yeah. even though Johnny no, Houston is on the bottom yeah. of the yeah, yeah, leaderboard yeah, right now, well, and, uh, in the main event, you start 50 my feeling for watching so Johnny in the past is um, the he will not be content like to, ra to, to remain yeah. there for more than four or five hands. It's I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. He's a fast That's moving train. Nice, huh? <clears throat> well, same thing, right? Pass. But then guess what? Flaggio has the same events too. Yeah. He passed the, uh, the Lady Boy Ace Four. Pass. Yeah, Lions are higher. Pass. That's interesting. I mean, um, Kevin used to play with two ducks. Now he's just playing with the <laughs> one. And uh, I think. I mean, this thing won't let me fold. It just seems like getting rid of that one duck. That that duck was a real See, bad influence on him, that second duck. Kind of what, do you know the story? What happened to that other duck? Right. I, 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 Oops. <laughs> <laughs> he went to travel the world There's with a, the fellow poker good. player, Mickey Dane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's killed the duck. Is that what I think's happened? Not Mickey Dane killed the duck. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. They, yeah. They, they killed the well, other yeah. duck. Have you ever seen that, uh, the Sun, the sun no. newspaper headline, Mickey no, Day? No, 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 Cool. Yeah, I'm pretty much the most successful guy who never won anything. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Houston has, oh, just sort of crept into the pot with Ace King. Oh. Obviously, hoping for the re-raise. Maybe. Yes, I think he is hoping for a re-raise and then to, to re-raise. But uh, Kevin yes. limped in behind him, and now that brought the cell in, plus the two blinds, and in fact, Joe is. <sighs> on the button. I mean, he folded. I mean, he should really be ashamed of himself. The only guy out of this family. He's a very solid player, Joe. Check. Check. It's a great flop for Johnny Houston. Top pair. Six thousand. How do you view, you Pass. know, the value of hands when there's like five or more Pass. in a pot? The the value of the hands changes Pass. immensely. Uh, top pair, top kicker goes down. Um, and in a multi-way pot, you want to be playing hands like suited connectors. I think where, he won his first pot. Uh, <laughs> where you can really connect with a flop and, and win a big pot. That's the wrong. The value of big pairs goes down, <laughs> and the value of uh, wow. <laughs> so suited connectors like six, seven, and spades they really, really increase. And, and advertising there by Houston, but he's, he's probably quite relieved to, to, to win that pot at yeah, this I stage. Mean, well, when it comes like that, this is not the time for the race king. I mean, if you get any action uh, in an unraised pot, you're probably not getting it from a, a worse ace. There's, also the five gear There's two pairs. There's all sorts of things that can be hit there. You get like 500 pairs. When's that? World Series. Jo Joe plays uh, very different from uh, sort of, uh, late Barney and uh, Ram, doesn't he? Right. Raised 6,000 total. Yeah, well, Pass. you know, there was, a, there was a while when they... Joe was considered one of those players who was always great to have in a last longer Pass. bet, but not for the final table. And then a couple of years ago, he started picking up titles left to right. You know, he won the Irish Open. 
um, something, Roland, I'm sure that one day in your career you hope you aspire oh. to do. Yeah, I'd like to do that. I'd come second this year, so I'd like to go a bit higher. Yeah, that, uh, Here comes trouble for something. Johnny Houston. Yeah, you're right. 16,000 more. The, the, the raise has come from the cell barrel up to 6,000, and it's 6 plus 16. What's influenced Johnny to make this play? Nice. And what's it, what's it's in LaSalle's mind? Well, I think LaSalle has come across Johnny before and he knows that Johnny is uh, he's very oh, capable of doing a, a move without okay. without the hand, without the good. He doesn't need it. He's, um, six. Johnny, Johnny Houston is a, a player who can you play any two. Yeah, six. 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 LaSalle's aware of that. LaSalle knows that, okay. uh, that he doesn't view himself that way. So when he gets a pair of nines, that's pretty pretty good and he's willing to go with it against that's a player like Johnny Houston. It's going to be 16,000 more in Houston and I, I think his breathing is getting very laboured. He's... Uh, is, is he trying to steal himself down here? Is there, is there any way he can call, or is it all in a fold? It's all in a fold. The, the, the odds uh, with his stack of hitting a set are just not justified. If he does hit the third seven, uh, the pot's not going to be big enough um, to fold on the flop. Well, you can see him really giving this some thought, and I, I think the adrenaline is flowing. I think Johnny, Johnny knows. Another 22 if you wish to call. He knows that he's, uh, he's either behind or he's up against Ace King, and uh, it, it's a 50-50. So he's either a four to one underdog or 50-50, and he knows that this is not a good spot for his money. Once the cells uh, re re raised him, you don't want to be in Johnny Houston's seat right now. It's uh, not pleasant. You're you're in a pot where a lot of your chips are committed, but you know you have the worst hand. It's actually 22,000 more. He's put 22 in, which means, oh, I think he's counting down there. He's finding he's got about 55 or so left. And is it just a decision about whether he feels like he can play himself back into this? Yes, I think that's, that's, that's it. And he, and, he, and he knows he can as well. Before, man. I went to the wrong hotel by accident. <laughs> I was going to your hotel. But I just basically wrote down the address, gave the cab driver the address, fell asleep, and woke up in, at the Marriott. <laughs> so you stayed there or what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like I was only off with like, you know, uh, 30 well, miles or something. he's not looking happy, Johnny. I just, oh, okay. What do you think is going to influence his decision here? Just how he feels on the day? I think it's early on. You know, this is still level one. I've had 13, 13 cool. hands in. Well, the deck can always sort you out, Roland, can it? Could come a seven. And, and if it comes big cars and Houston's playing stop and go, maybe he can think, take Barrow off the pot. I think that's in his mind. He realizes that there is enough uh, behind for Barrow to fold. Let's just see what the flop brings. It's a calamity for John Houston. That, that's unfortunate. Call in. Yeah. Call in. Call. Call. It's a calamity for Wish all it. seasons. And Wish Barrow's made a pretty strong oh, call. I, I wonder if LaSalle is confident he's got the best of it. Nines ain't so good right now. So I mean, they are. Morning gambling going Point on. of fact. Yeah. But <laughs> 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 but Lascelles <laughs> taken a very strong opinion there with those nines, hasn't he? Watch it, he has. He, 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 in his mind, he was absolutely convinced he had the best hand and was right. It's an unfortunate flop for John Houston. It's the perfect flop for a pair of sevens that uh, that didn't in, in, include a seven. But he's going to need one now. I, I guess there's every uh, case to be made here, Roland, for the fact that if the money didn't go in before the flop, it might have got in there on the flop. Yeah, no. And uh, perhaps these are just two very strong players who didn't want to back down. I wonder, Roland, if both LaSalle and Houston. Houston's out. He's out of this tournament. Well, that hand could have gone a, a couple of ways. The money got in most of it before the flop. The rest on the flop. Pretty innocuous, but the nine's always leading the two sevens, and uh, nine's up. Double Montana bananas. It, uh, it was always going to be hard. I, I knew when I got that draw. Uh, I'm sitting between two absolute uh, aggressive players. You know, I'd have preferred to have been sort of a little bit, you know, probably seat five would have suited me. Um, I was trapped in the middle. I've made that bet with M7s, and I mean, a lot of people out there will, will, will say, you know, it's a big call for this guy. I mean, he's made a very, very big call. Um, but, you know, that's it's feast or famine with me. I'm either going to get doubled up early or get out quick. Five-handed now, will sell by with the 200,000 stack. There's some talk at the table, and Joe Beavers is just sort of commenting that he read the hand as LaSalle having minimum of queens there. How are these guys going to view Barrow right now? I mean, putting all that money in with nines. Both players uh, 
gave in, off indication that they were a lot stronger than they were. But Barrow really took a view on Houston, and uh, Pass. Houston Pass. took a view on his situation. But I mean, the question is, you know, Barrow with the big stack, you Race you really don't want to go up on the, against this guy with a marginal hand right now, Pass. do you? No, um, you don't. You really want to have the goods when you're getting involved against him. Well, speak of the devil, Walrus uh, raising with cool. the ace deuce, and Kevin O'Connell's called him with really not much in the big blind. Yeah, this is uh, the history of between the two uh, evident. And uh, they've both flopped a pair and Check. will have every right to feel that the board missed their opponents. Indeed. 8,000. Seeing a check raise here? No, I'm seeing... Well, he's gone for chips. Kevin not scared. The new Kevin O'Connell. <laughs> Raise to there's a bit of needle between these guys. It's a big raise. 8,000 plus 17. 16 more. Plus 16, pardon me. Cool. And with that kind of call, is, is Thomas sort of indicating that he thinks Kevin could, could be completely added on an air ball? Yeah, hit, hit. stare down, think look. Stare down, look. Sure. Stare down, look. Yeah, Thomas is going to have to improve here. <laughs> <laughs> That's a terrible card. Oh, gosh. Jack. Oh, Kevin's played this trappy. Is Thomas going to fall for it? I check. He's played it well, check. actually, Thomas. <laughs> yes. A five, a five is, uh, is only out. Although an ace might slow things down. A six could also slow things down. And if Kevin makes a bet here, it would have to be under the thin value uh, head classification. Well, against Thomas, uh, who's liable to pull a bet, that's it. That's 20, a pretty strong All value bet. Card. Thomas doesn't like being bluffed. If Walrus puts Kevin on something like two big spades, he's, he's still good, isn't he? He is. It's a very hard call to make, though. It can only be the busted spade draw that has no five in it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I can beat that. It's a clever beat a guy. busted non-five straight draw. <laughs> Thomas knows the hand he can beat, but will he, will he, he beat put it. the opponent on it? A busted non-five spade draw. No. Come Good on, Thomas. Pair. Put it put it down. One time, fold the hand. Actually, with two pair. Is he convincing himself into the core? This is all down to instincts, isn't it? Uh, what was his, his? It sounds like that was his first instinct. Yeah, but the way he was talking, but he just knows that the situation doesn't merit a call here. He's got enough to survive. I call. Oh, Thomas. Oh. Call. Yeah. Five. No. And I just. Ah, it's good. Wonder. Uh, good hand. If, if, if obviously a call you can make with a deeper stack, but is Walrus going to pay the price now? Yeah, Thirty-four thousand left, and the left difference between that and fifty-four wow. is huge. It's everything, Jesse. He's left himself very I'm short. And if you want to, please. <laughs> Thomas, once again, will he now be a tilted Walrus? Total. The two outsiders at the start are now the two uh, big chip leaders. <laughs> it is true. Cool. The sponsor, of course, uh, had Kevin O'Connell as a 50 to 1 shot to win this tournament outright. Just this six handed table, or? <laughs> <laughs> they had him at 45 to 1 to win <laughs> this six handed table. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I wonder if Kevin's in a sort of a rush of blood to the head mode, calling Liz's raise from the small line with the suit connectors. Does he need to be involved in this pot? No, Check. He he's just won a pot and he's Check. out of position. And this is the second time Liz has raised before the flop and knuckled it on the flop. And That's a big, a big turn card for <sighs> seven. It's the biggest in the pack. 
that the card he wanted to, to, to give him a 8, big, 000. big hand. He's now open ended straight draw and a flush draw. And an over card to the board. Roller, do you feel like both times Liz has checked the flop after the race, she's made it more complicated for herself. But I think, like oh. you, she doesn't mind extra complications in a hand, does she? She, no, she likes working it out. She doesn't want to play a pot too big at this stage. And she's made a good call hand. here. She's a 61% favorite, as it turns out. And now she's hit her hand. Check. Kevin's done well there to check, actually. Many players would have tried to fire again. Recent history always fun, and the recent history between these two is that Kevin knocked Liz out of the 15, recent 000. WPT championship uh, when Liz bluffed him with the ace on the river. And I know it's in his mind because he told me about it six times before the heat. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no excuse for forgetting what he said these days either. Pass. But, um, he does look great these days, though. Kevin, he really he? does. I mean. If anyone's got any uh, TiVos of uh, a couple of World <laughs> Opens ago, they see this skeletal like figure. Of course, between Skeletor and Oliver Reed. There's one of the there's a there's an interesting trivia question about poker. Who is the guy who was vomiting in the bathroom after level two? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I, can that I can that reveal. But it doesn't narrow it down, them. <laughs> and uh, Liz, we could see there by the scoreboard, back to 112,000. What a nice recovery she's made after the uh, the early disaster. Solid from Liz. The Woolworths with a pair of fives, Race Thomas to 6, Woolworths. Total. And how committed is he right now? He's got Pass. about 28,000 back. Pass. I think it's fairly unlikely that he's passing any hand. Joe having a little squeezy on the felt. It's only 4,000 to him. Hmm. I think I have 30 something before the hand started. 12. 20, 28 more. How will that answer influence Joe's decision? He's looking for implied odds. If he hits a, a big straight draw or flush, um, how much can he pay, pay to get paid off as opposed to what he has to invest? This is called implied odds. It's a big factor in working out uh, how to play a hand. So. Apparently a pretty complicated decision. I wonder if Joe's thinking about a re-race here. No. no he just calls cool. It's a fair play from Joe. Experienced player, Joe Beavers, and the Hender mob have done a lot of good work for the poker. If he hits a draw, do you expect him to lead out or to check raise? I think he may well lead out with the draw. Yeah. This is a, uh, an interesting situation. He's, he's got the best hand now. And he's, he's not going to okay. know that. He's got it. A pair and a straight draw. Thomas has to bet. The, the chips in there are too important for him. And I think Joe's looking. Uh, it's enough chips to set him all in. He's reached red here. Raised to 28. Pass. Thomas well, is getting tortured out there, Jesse. He is. Uh, he's played quite a few hands, Roland, and none of them have gone his way. In fact, I don't know if he's won a pot yet. Like he's won one pot. That's small one. No good for Walrus. Down to 20,000, is he? You need your but, duck uh, We've talking. seen comebacks of that magnitude what? before. Yesterday, uh, um, sorry, last week we saw a great comeback, uh, Michael Muldoon from 7,000. <coughs> yeah, it was a great comeback and even more spectacular. Uh, Ram Vaswani, of course, ended up winning the heat after being down to about 26 as well. Yeah, it's fantastic from uh, both players. Pass. This, this format doesn't allow you to come back a uh, couple of double throughs. Pass. A couple of good hands and, and, and you're back. Pass. So Thomas shouldn't give up hope yet. The other players will be pleased to see him down. They know he's a dangerous opponent. Joe now reaching for chips. Cool. Mm. No race. And uh, I'll tell you what, that 4,000 in there, 
would add 25 per 20% to Thomas's stack. 25 even. Top pair, second pair for, for Thomas Woolworths. He's going to take. Check. No, oh, he's just in the. Uh, he's, he's, has he decided that he basically needs to, ch to, to double up here? He has. Check. Check. No. Uh oh. So what is this about? Does Joe check the turn because he thinks, well, he'll never believe I have an ace anyway? I think both, both have played this hand strangely. Thomas gave Joe a chance to... to Check. Cut. He left his front door open and... Uh, 4,000. Thomas waited until he was going to get no action to bet. Roland, I think you would have won this pot with either player's hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it would have been hard to, for Joe to win it to get Thomas off that eight at any point. But certainly with Thomas's, I would have, uh, wouldn't have let it get past the flop. And this is the second time tonight we've seen someone have a long think about Queen High on the River. Does that sort of indicate the caliber of this field? They know what's <laughs> what's capable, what these people are capable of. Yeah, sometimes Queen High is, uh, is the best hand. I think Joe's just posturing. I'd be very surprised if he doesn't. Well, I think I'm out of your stack pool there, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a lot of money. <laughs> Thomas just gave a smile that said, listen, I just won nearly a million dollars at the Bellagio. <laughs> Don't try to put me under pressure. <laughs> and uh, he called it early posture and Glenn <clears throat> Walrus back. It's still too early in the morning for this. <laughs> <laughs> so sort of like my killer instincts. Hell's gone to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Near the end of the first level, and it has not been without drama. Texas Johnny Houston. Texas Johnny never really got into it. Tried to move against Lizzo. He didn't, but you wouldn't. You wouldn't forget he was there either, would you? No, he certainly gave us some uh, some action. And Thomas, uh, the flying fin, has been, has been grounded. Pass. Wall loose, limping with a queen nine. Hoping to see a, a free flop. Uh-oh. But you won't, you won't get one. Raise 5,000 more. Could Liz be doing this with a lot of hands? Well, Thomas doesn't think so. Well, that's a very, very... I think that he knows that she, she's most likely doing it with a hand better than queen nine. Seems to be the decision. Wall is looking at his chips. Ooh. I think he's regret. He says he lacks his killer instinct today. I just wonder which hands he regrets. I don't know. Quite possibly paying off Kevin O'Connor with a pair of twos. Oh yeah. Well, there's that. It's funny. Uh, it's gone quite quiet since uh, Charlie Houston left the table. I think the players have uh, realised that they've come out of the traps, all of them, pretty fast. And it was actually a lot of play in this event. Ian Ducky, huh? You and Ducky. Is that John Ducky? <laughs> 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 one card. I can beat you. Got the duck, so I can't play the duck. <laughs> Rubber Ducky. Do you think the the duck is lonely without the its two companion? Two companion the last series of party duck a I mean, I, I I really think the duck's you biggest problem is he knows what happened to the Ducks last one. <laughs> I, think the, I think the same fate might befell him <laughs> unless Kevin starts doing better. <laughs> Kevin's got no choice but to blame the ducks. <laughs> He's particularly avoiding orange sauces. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hold it here. And uh, all in from Walrus. And I mean, this all is in. a bet to pick up 3,000. Yeah. <sighs> he could have folded him. And he could have uh, called. I mean, I, I just. What would you have done here, Roland? I mean. He doesn't, he doesn't want to get re raised out of the hand by. Uh, Pass. Well, but into three players, it's very dangerous for the end for the three thousand. Yes, this for the last hand at the level. 
Maybe uh, maybe a little panicky there from this is the last panic. while we're eating the answers as well. About the time. A lot of people have difficulty to play these small pairs, Jesse. You really don't want to see a flop when you're the first player. You don't want to be really raised, but you don't want to throw the hand away either. 42 for a break. 42? Yeah, I used to have a break every every round. Every 15 minutes? No. That was shut up. I was reading an article by the guy who used to have the best film, Patrick Antonius, and he was commenting on how. He was talking about a tournament, and he Pass. said it all came down to the way I played my, my small and medium pairs. It, it has has hold and no limit hold tournament hold and gotten to a point where those those are the biggest swing hands. I still think the um, raised to seven thousand total. I still think it's the high pairs that, that uh, separate the wheat from the chaff. You know, pair of tens, pair of jacks, pair of queens. I think that these are the most uh, most Pass. money ones, and I suppose ace king. If if you make money with ace king in a in a poker tournament. Then uh, it, it, it bodes well. If you're losing money with it, then uh, it doesn't. <laughs> During most tournaments, you're, you're either going to have to win or lose a big hand with Ace King. <laughs> People really, really, I think it's probably the most misplayed hand. I think every single time it's you funny win, you say that. That's, that's, that's one of those stats no, that you'd be great to Paul see. Paul wouldn't it? Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> awesome. What do you think yeah. you're like? <laughs> How are you doing with the Ace King? Lasell Barrow, the first level in the books, and the. He's only won two hands, but they've both been sizable. That's why he's got 197,000. And uh, when I last missed the flop, Jesse, Joe Hashem was still working as a kind of <laughs> 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 so I think mean, my, my, my holding. <laughs> he's got the tweet. As the second level opens up. <laughs> <laughs> and he breaks it, so that was quite No surprise. Every time he wins, he says quite quite. Yeah, 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 the Joe yeah, Beavers yeah, has yeah, played yeah, the yeah, fewest yeah, hands of yeah, Roland. Yeah, double rainbow. Double rainbow. Quack, 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 quack. Double quack, quack. He's, he's particularly been a, a tight, solid player. He's opening up his game a little more these days, but he is a, a tight, Hello. tight player. Hello. How are you? Oh, I sort of Good, thanks. feel to like he's got the same I kind of philosophy of these things anymore. that, say, Roy the Boy Brindley. <laughs> <laughs> I said, if, I said you know, to Kevin. tight early and open up late type Raised of thing. Yeah, I think Joe, Joe I Beavers and Roy the Boy Brindley are, um, uh, have uh, a, uh, not what you have a very similar I game. I did! You said I was trying to hit on her. Um, oh, okay, fine. I think that uh, yeah. I don't know who's been learning from, no, from the other the one. Same. It's not the same, right? No. Spiritual kin, perhaps. Brethren. Put me off my hand. Brothers <laughs> by other mothers. Roy Burnley <laughs> and Joe <laughs> for the elegant speed. Oh, uh... Thomas Kevin's better hope that he doesn't find a queen here. Oh, jeez. Okay. Good night, Thomas. Well played. Well, that's all Thanks for is. coming. I mean, there there is no escape from it. This is a, a, simply a cold deck. When I saw that ace king, I was thinking, please don't have an ace queen, Thomas, but... Connell's made it 12,000. The 8,000 call would be about half of Thomas's stack. There's just... Wow. Cool. Cool? Yeah. Wow. Is this just giving himself extra options? I think, I think it is. I quite like the play. Um, wow, and all of a sudden, I'll tell you what. Walrus has... Uh, 11. Is not in such bad shape in this hand, and... Uh, Kevin's saying here, you didn't have That's enough right. to make me uh, hold anything. Walrus in better shape now, 46% than he was before the flop. Nice. And obviously, if he could win oh, this, the money. Thomas, 50, 50. Um, you'd fancy he can play his way back. Oh, it is 48,000. That's it. The Woolworths hit it. Yeah. The king, no, that's it. Well, he's a very, very, very he can consider himself to be a very, very lucky Woolworth. <laughs> the old stop and go. From a spectator's point of view, uh, Roland, you don't begrudge Thomas winning a pot because we, we really want to see an opportunity to get him to play his best. And I know it's, it's in there, I'm sure. He's, a, he's an entertaining and exciting you know my good luck so charms here today, right? Kevin's a friend of mine, but I was rooting for Thomas in that pot. Yeah, I have a good luck charm. Who is that, me? It's all right. <laughs> is that oh, Kevin could afford it. Oh, you're full, please. Thank you. I think, in fact, Kevin perhaps wants to have a little more go at the walrus no, anyway. I got a good luck charm. It's, yeah. uh, it's sort of like the cat and mouse duck. game. You don't want to kill the mouse too early if you're the cat. And right now, Kevin's got Price the cat chips. Thousand. The cat and the walrus. <laughs> or the duck and the walrus, perhaps. 
got the shafting machine on Kevin's tongue. Kevin's got right <laughs> back <laughs> into action. <laughs> <laughs> it's still going, it could be either. So we have a, we have a walrus and a duck. What would Lascelle Barrow be if he was an animal? <laughs> that's, that's a tough one. Olin. The wheelbarrow. Where's Olin? And nice play from walrus. Here. I will try give you an opportunity, Kevin, he says, to double me up <laughs> twice, <laughs> which is no fun. If you're in Kevin's seat. It's a lot more than it was last time. It is. It's a significant proportion of his chips, and he knows oh, it. He could be in terrible shape here. Well, it's forty thousand more. He's just, he's just not calling his name. Forty. Twenty. Yeah, like. But you 40 never know with this guy. <laughs> no, so it's forty then. Yeah, forty. Yeah, yeah, Check eighteen. Yeah. yeah. Forty more. He's trying to lie. Forty-eight. Oh, you always get lucky on me. Yeah. And if he doesn't, he whines. <laughs> <laughs> I don't whine that much. It is unfair. Listen, you're famous for it. It's 40 there. You made me famous for it, I think. <laughs> oh, sorry, 18. This game can play the great spirit. And LaSalle there, he's enjoying himself. I mean, this is why you play poker. I was fair share, though, didn't I? You know, you get to sit in the middle of this kind of lineup. The banter is yeah, fast it's easy. and furious. It's easy game. All right. Oh, I know the guys you have to be careful now. Yeah. He's waking up. Well, you know. I don't know. I'm going to whine. <laughs> I look forward to the cell way out front, and all of a sudden, that's, that's you can't really right. pick between the other <laughs> four. Only four. Only Walrus, only, only a double winning. through you know, away from second red. position. <laughs> <laughs> There's been a, uh, a rebirth of Walrus oh. in, this, in this heat. I guess one of the marks of a good player oh. is how they're able to recover from you, misfortune. Ace King against Ace Queen, we were very back to sending the Wolves back to the wild, but... Raise to 10. Raise to 10,000 total. His, his tusks are sharpened now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it, it almost Hello. seems, Roland, like Easy there's only game. two players on this table, this Kevin and Thomas yeah. Walrus. And uh, any prediction about uh, where it's going to go from here. Those are all Kevin O'Connell's chips, says Thomas, and I'm glad to have them. <laughs> the Eggman, Thomas Woolworth, <laughs> is, uh, yeah, he's, he's gained a new, leaf of new lease of life. God, that's, that's what the song's about. I am the walrus, I am the Eggman. It's uncanny. <laughs> what? That's in, that's... <laughs> Surely, Us. surely he must be a big Beatles fan. The Eggman, Thomas Walrus. And he, uh... I'm the Walrus, he is the Eggman. Interest, interestingly, in the WPT the Championship, he was he was battling against uh, the head of Cirque du Soleil, uh, Beatles uh, love show in Bellagio. So, a real-life Walrus against the, uh, the Beatles man. Revenge is best served cold, and Walrus has made it 10. Kevin says, take times. some of that. You fine tusked animal. I have a hand. Well, you have that the other two, so I think you have one this time as well. Rolling Usually, when you race like three times in a row, you're supposed to have a hand at least the last time. <laughs> the last four pots on this table have basically been between Still O'Connell and Walrus. Still got enough to battle you guys, I think. And a hand. That's not a hand, that's half a hand. Tough one, yeah. Short it's hand like again. A nine, eight. You would have hit the ace six. You know, you'd be right. You don't have ace six. Would be ace seven? Ace six would be a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin showed that he can give as good as he can get. Show me these dudes. is just pleased to still be alive. He was very nearly extinct. <laughs> what do walruses eat, anyway? Ducks. Uh, cool. cool. Nice play from LaSalle. Joe won't expect this, will he? Plankton. 
Careful, Joe. Six thousand is the rise. And uh, Beavers actually has a tight image that may get lost. Wow. How do you predict this Check. is going to go? I think there's going to be a lot of money in this pot. 8,000. LaSalle's got the best of it by a long shot. Should he pull the trigger? If he raises here, we could be playing a big pot. What does Joe Beavers put LaSalle on now? In fact, if it actually becomes a heart, Barrel have the nut draw, it's um... Check. This is about feel for Joe? It is, it's very much the thing. Where will another bet get him? Well, if he checks... If he checks behind, he's gonna have to hit the card. He's either going to have to bet now, or bet the river, or hit, if he wants to win this pot. Obviously, if he knew what LaSalle had, he'd just look for the emergency exit. But um, how much is you the money in the pot right? worth compared to his rolling. chips behind? <laughs> he should be down here. He's probably calling me a dunk right now. And Joe has checked ah. it. He's probably Good calling decision. me a dunk right yeah. now. <laughs> 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 Thomas yeah, Walrus is reading well on and, and off the table. <laughs> yeah, have ace six. But I flopped two pair this ace. flop. I'm not calling you a dunk, Thomas. I'm admiring awesome. your powers of recovery. Yeah. Meanwhile, Joe Beavers is. Uh, he didn't have ace ten with the goal. No, he isn't no. going anywhere. Sorry. Lassell gets another one, like the chip leader, but. Uh, I'd, like say, well, I'd like to play that flop again. Missed a small. Spot to exert yeah. pressure bye -bye. on the beaver. A raise on the flop in the pot would have been played bye -bye. much larger. But the barrel did, and he would have that. found out where he was as well if he, if he got re raised. I, I mean, check calling is, a, is an approach favored by many people who are learning the game, but because you had ace, ace, I much prefer uh, like a raise, giving yourself to, to a chance to win the pot. The way LaSalle played that, he really mm. had to have the best hand to win. Well, Did ever tell the truth? good news for LaSalle, he's got plenty Probably of chips, and huh? I think oh. a little bit like uh, <laughs> Nico last week, LaSalle can sort of Apparently. take some time to see, uh, <laughs> be patient and see what happens, if he chooses. What's coming up to? 10,000 10, He's thinking, uh, Plus. He was trying to pretend that he was uh, getting the hump with Thomas Wallace, yeah. perhaps? looking for his big blind. Yeah, when you see it play back on camera, you'd be surprised at how you kick it away from them. Like you have a monster. Yeah. This game highly entertaining, and uh, right now it's LaSalle Barrow out on top. But uh, between the others, there's not that much in it. Although Wall is a bit of a backward step. 52% rolling. Huh? Just yeah. about halfway oh. through the second level. <laughs> I'd be laughing if it was. <gasps> cool. Are the American studios as palacious as this? Huh? The American studios are as palacious as this. Right. And silk right. And, and I was just Take saying, how are nice these players going to huh? read uh, O'Connell's limp? Weak, I guess. Indeed, People he's been raising all these big hands. Of hanging on the walls. Hasn't really been, been mixing it up. The paintings and the angles. How does Joe Bieber's want to play this uh, on the button? The fact that LaSalle's made a minimum raise here, does that give Joe a lot of money? He doesn't think so. I wonder, does it give the other players uh, incentive to call? It's only 6,000 on the Walrus. It's all about position for these two guys. I mean, Joe, and also LaSalle has a, some chips in an image where cool. you want a, a solid holding to, to, be, to be going up against him. He'd much be much happier playing a big pot against them than they would against him. Cool. I think so. Well. Liz and Kevin, perhaps uh, two and three in chips, feel like they can afford to break one open. And, yeah, I think 
think everybody's got nothing. Gasol has to bet now. He's raised pre-flop. He has okay. to follow it through there. A three would be a very Check. interesting nuts for Lucille. And Lucille's made two eights. If, if Kevin bets here, he could win the pot, couldn't he? He could. Lucille's got, um, Liz Lou has a pair, but no real draw. She can let it go. 8,000. And Kevin drawing cool. two ways. <laughs> Is Lucille calling to bluff? This would be a very advanced move. And he might just get Liz Lou to let her best hand down. Liz could hardly believe that Ted Lucille is over calling with a hand with five high. <laughs> and that Kevin has Jack high. It's pretty interesting hand. Liz would have made two pair on the river. And is this Kevin thinking that a bet will win it or just stabbing in the dark? Or does he just know that there's too much money in there to leave 18, behind? Yeah, I think he's, there's too much money to leave behind. Little does he know he has the best hand. Cell can reach down into if his he can heart. find it in within himself to raise it. He has the chips to do it. This is one of those situations where a minimum raise would work. It's a huge ask. He has not shown this in his poker career yet, but if he does it now, it would be beautiful. It would be a fantastic step forward. Does he have any information at all? Is there any way that he could feel that Kevin is bluffing? Doesn't it look to you like a queen or something? Kevin doesn't look monstrously strong. The yes. cell didn't quite I'll get paid. <laughs> Just got paid. No, he didn't call. That was one of those pots, uh, rolls, it seems to me, that it's sort of a destiny pot. The, the guy that wins it is... Anybody could have won that pot, yeah, theoretically. He would have lost mm -hmm. if he didn't Kevin call. played well. He huh? saw some weakness on the flop, and he followed through with it on the river. If Kevin wins this tournament, I think I should uh, get at least 25% of the winnings. I've hopped on the river. I think you're low balling yourself. Anyway. <laughs> I'll have a cigarette. <laughs> What'd you say? It's too much. <laughs> Only 2,000. Oh, oh, sorry. Discount. Right. You can call that. Us. Nine thousand times. I love the image that Liz has established for herself. It, it's. I mean, you couldn't think of a player at this table you'd less like to mess around with. She throttled Johnny Houston. And she's beat every. She hasn't turned her cards over yet either. No, she hasn't uh, shown her hand. Uh, she's. She can be intimidating to play against, you know, this diminutive figure who. I'd describe her game as tight aggressive. She's normally got a hand to start with, but uh, when she does play, she plays Plus. aggressive. Plus. <laughs> you probably still haven't seen the move she pulled on you! <laughs> If anybody told you about that, <laughs> <laughs> she probably had the best hand. How much? Five more. In the Irish Open, uh, there was a guy who mucked his cards uh, before the pot was finished. I raised, he went all in. The dealer mucked his cards, and I hadn't seen it. And I folded, but uh, little did he know that even after he'd mucked his cards, he still had the best hand. <laughs> You got him back, though. You knocked him out on the final table. <laughs> the revenge was sweet, huh? It was indeed. <laughs> Two and four up. And Liz, who is totally in control of her game. And, uh... Cool. Uh, the relationship between Kevin and the Walrus Obviously of paramount importance because he's limped in again the walrus is big blind although LaSalle says hey don't forget about me Kevin and the walrus sounds like a, a Mazurski uh, or P Pokofiev uh, <laughs> symphony Peter and the wolf <laughs> Peter and the wolf Kevin and the walrus <laughs> When I travel with Peter Gould on tour <laughs> we're known as Peter and the wolf <laughs> And this will be a four-way pot if uh, the walrus is willing 
I wonder if you might know. Nice. Is it Willing Woolworths? <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't there a Wally Walrus? Nice flop for beavers. Oh my Check. gosh, but Barrow! Ba Barrow's Check. hit the street! Check. It's a train wreck for Joe Beavers. Well, it just is. You can't, you can't get away from it, can you? Uh, uh, the only thing is, is it's bottom two. But by the time he finds out where he is, he could be committed to the hand. Where is it? Where is the 30,000 total? And uh, I imagine if Barrow just calls here, he's definitely getting all of Joe's chips. But really, if he re-raises all in, he'll probably get them anyway, won't he? I think so. Pass. Holding. <laughs> that is not what Joe wanted to hear yeah, at all. Cool. Yeah, he's called right away. Cold he's like, cannot cold. lay the two pair down. This is a cold deck and uh, train wreck, you call it. Well, he's seen Barrow um, wow. overplay the nines, and he knows that Barrow's not capable of it, but Joe's just cold decks. But he does have four outs. Running diamonds. He does have six outs twice. Yeah, 22%. Four outs twice. Diamonds, yeah, yeah, I love running diamonds. I didn't even know the flop came out. <laughs> LaSalle Barrow uh, about like to go diamonds. a monster mash here. 9-8 for chop. No, 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 running diamonds, I feel. Uh-oh. It's just the 7 or the 10 right now for Joe Beavers, or he's covered. And LaSalle Barrow is going to be a big chip leader. Yeah. It's a jack, but oh, it doesn't yeah. do anything. Nice and <laughs> LaSalle Barrow <laughs> goes monster. Awesome. Wrong pair of the board. He's the giant killer tonight, LaSalle Barrow. He took care of Johnny Houston and has now laid waste to the elegance Joe Beavers. Nice guy on the circuit, Joe Beavers ran into it. Two pair on the flop, but Barrow had the straight and that held LaSalle. Taking everybody to the sleeves. This game is moving at a fast pace as our players call those magic words all in. Who will be next to fall from the board? Find out after the break. Welcome back. We're here and so are these four. LaSalle taking the wheelbarrow to the field and a big chip lead over O'Connell, Lou, and Walrus. <laughs> you had to think about it. Uh, it uh. <laughs> what a dead, what a dead giveaway. There's the Race jack of hearts. Lily, Rosemary, and Liz Lou. Plus. This, this is where Thomas Woolworths doesn't want to wake up with Ace-10. I need a cigarette. Ah! Uh. And oh. <coughs> minimum, re minimum raise there from Liz has kind of brought Thomas in. But uh, what's the thought here for him? Well, he's thinking the Ace is good. Oh, this could be interesting. Check. Obviously. He knows it. She's, she's short. He, well, Deuce of Hearts is the, the money card, but is Thomas going to bet the 10? Oh, that's a, that's a, a bad card for, for Thomas. I, I just wonder, Ron, I guess there's a sense that Liz is a little scared of Thomas because obviously th she knows that he'll be fighting harder over those 18,000 chips. I mean, they don't, they mean so much to him. She, she's going to value better her hand. She knows the top pair, top kicker on He's likely to have Five the best thousand. hand. And Thomas could pay off. But again, Thomas uh, does well oh. to lose the minimum. I think he's done that a few times. Yeah, he's got away from hand. Nah, well, you had nothing. Darn it. You, you, you kind of have to say if you had, if you had taken the first dozen hands he played, since then he's, he's really been the class. He just hasn't had any chips. He's played really well. Yeah, Thomas is uh, <laughs> he's starting to show his class. I mean, he, I mean, he really put himself oh, under some pressure there by dusting his chips off early. Yeah, it's uh, it's, it's been a habit of uh, name players in this tournament. No, <laughs> they try yeah, and give themselves a handicap at the start. <laughs> I mean, we've been talking about a handicap system in poker for some cool. time. And look at this. Kevin, the last time Kevin limped like this, LaSalle raised very oh. weak. Cool. LaSalle not falling for it. He's ironclad. Oh dear. Cool. This is the round of time when you're Kevin O'Connell if you just say, geez, did I really want to do that? 
Yeah. Limp with the kings, and now everybody's in, especially the two blinds. I have absolutely no idea what they have, but I'll be scared they have two pair. Action probably means he's beat. Someone's hit the second pair. As it turns out, kings are. It's a pretty good flop for Check. two kings, isn't it? Check. How much should Kevin bet here? About the size of the pot. I think that's fair. He has to bet something. Twelve thousand. Cool. Cool. That yeah. may save the wool. That's I, I think that's chips just what I was going to say. Or, or I that's actually thought it was could influence the walrus to. Well, he, know, he knows the cell's calling with something probably better than a six. Right. His, 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 his push would only give Kevin odd to call, or one of them would call. And wow. What a card for LaSalle Barrow. He's hit three fours on the turn. Kevin could do all his money. <laughs> he could do a fair proportion. Kevin right now, isn't he just trying to work out how the best way to get money off LaSalle? I think he is. I think he thinks he has the best hand. He doesn't put LaSalle on two pair. 26,000. All in. All in. <laughs> Gosh. Hi, Cole. Oh, wow. Wow. What's over then, please? This, is, this, this, this could be nearly over. <laughs> I'm just telling you what. I'm telling you what. LaSalle Barrow is going to have, he's going to have wow. something like 450. Oh my, oh, Kevin needs a king or he's oh, out of this well, thing. King only. Wow. The two biggest stacks collided. From nowhere. It's a train wreck for Kevin O'Connell. He's played the hand back to front. And here's to all the viewers at home why you don't limp with aces and kings. Well, Three fours from like LaSalle Kevin. Barrow yeah. and... That's a bit true. Rolling the over bet all in by LaSalle. Just sort of... Uh, to Kevin, it must have looked a little weak. He, he's stunned. He can't believe it. <laughs> Where do you want us to send your duck? Kevin O'Connell with the Cowboys, but the four on the turn. That's when the money went in. LaSalle pushed him all over the line in the set, beating the pair. I was more bothered about a spake than anything else. I never for one second put him on a pair of fours in his hand, so that was basically the end of the story. Apart from that, I thought I was very, very good shape to win it, to be quite honest. I thought that um, I was picking up the players at you know, my own speed, in my own time. I was taking a little bit of pots here and there and uh, you know, winning, winning pots with no cards, winning pots with cards. I was doing okay. I just walked into that, which was a, a disaster. End, end of story. Three ways now, blind three and 6,000. You couldn't describe this in any other way but a slaughterhouse. And Roland, I'm just thinking, Difference between Liz Lou here and, and Thomas Walrus, Liz has done such a great job protecting her chips, and she'll fancy herself at having a puncher's chance here with 105,000. And that 20,000 that Walrus Raised to 15, called on the end there against Kevin O'Connell, that could come back to haunt Pass. him. The difference between him having 27,000 now and 50 is massive. It, it is. <laughs> you win, Liz. Pass. I mean, uh, you know, Walrus, unfortunately, is in a spot, I would imagine, Roland, where it's pretty much up to the cards here it is. in the immediate future. He can't really play his way out of this spot, no, can I he? I think that because uh, the, the, they're going to be almost committed to calling him with any two cards, or almost any two cards. If you're LaSalle Barrow right now, is the best strategy to sort of sit and wait or to just crank it up and force these guys to decisions? I, I would, I would uh, sit and wait a little bit because the, the guys know that they're playing for one prize, so... Cool. You can't bully them oh. too much. If there was two go through, then it would be very different. Well, Horace is going to have to make a decision. Is, does he have a call in him, or is it all in or nothing? I mean, Liz Lou obviously in the pot from the big blind. Does he want to take LaSalle on here? He would if he knew what LaSalle had. Call. No race. <laughs> The thing I love about Liz Lou is she always looks like she's about to burst out laughing. <laughs> 18,000 in there. And the king has hit Liz nicely. Wolf has a gut shot. And Barrow up and down. Check. 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 
check. Gosh, what if it comes a, a jack or a six? Could be trouble for Liz Lou. Check. Bet here? For sure, you must be bet. I'm surprised you didn't bet the flop. Why? Because uh, you just gave them a free card to hit their hit their draw. Twelve thousand. So not going anywhere, but is it call or raise? Cool. Oh. He's been very inclined yes. to call with jaws, which I don't like. I, I much prefer to see them raising with jaws. In this case, though, if he hits, big trouble for little Liz Lou. And that actually improves that hand. Because the five doesn't play anymore. Indeed. It's possible Lissell had the seven. It's more likely that. He didn't, and he, she's going to feel more comfortable at her card now. 20,000. Comfortable enough to make a 20,000 bet. Right. And look at this! Lissell Barrow! And this is a huge question he's going to ask Liz Lou. It's just a question of getting the size right. He has to, he has to put Liz What's under the, the right amount of right? pressure. Double What's the, the last seven. So the minimum will be 20 more. Thirty thousand more, fifty total. This is for Liz's tournament, really. It really, yes. And and Lascelles shown no inclination to do this without a hand. This is the first time he's made any move whatsoever. Gorgeous timing, isn't it? It is, but Liz Liz has shown in the past that she's not afraid to call. She's a she's a limit player. It's just the question of now. If I'm in Liz C, I'm starting to think I'm beat, and I'm also starting to think. If I call and I'm beat, then I, my tournament chip is over, but she still has enough to get away from this. And he's shown no inclination to bluff. What does the size of the raise mean? It's a strong... It, it, the size shows... It, it look, to all intents and purposes, it looks like he's got it. It would, it would be... Tremendous call, Roland, because my guess with Liz is having seen her play it before that she's going to call. She doesn't like to fold. She doesn't like to be bluffed out. God, it would be a tremendous call. She knows if she's, she knows if she's. Oh my call. gosh, she has done it. She's willing to back her instincts to the hilt. Is Liz Lou? This is the first time Lacelle has bluffed, and she has picked it off. Wow. Yeah, Liz is, is not an easy person to bluff, and a lot of players coming into the game from Limit Hold'em okay. um, are very, uh, very keen to call. They, they, they don't like to, to fold on the end, and um, Liz, Liz has made a strong call there. And that could <laughs> be the swing that swings this heat in another direction. That could, be, that yeah. could be LaSalle's last bluff for another five years. <laughs> <laughs> He's tried it once in four in four. Four heats, and uh, the first time he does it, he gets picked off. It was a beautiful bluff. It would have worked against a lot of players. I wonder if she got a read on him. I don't think that um, she took a read. I think that she just knew that that the uh, the kicker now became the ten. So if if he had All another in. ten, All in. if he had a king, then uh, she's gonna she's likely to take half of it. Fifteen. Here comes the walrus, all in with the queen on the button. Is it enough? Calling. Pass. LaSalle can cool. call with a lot of hands cool. here, and this one beats Thomas right now. And uh, this is wow. the... Wow, bad trip. I got eight five of spades. Somehow you Let's feel see. like if a walrus could talk, that's the way he'd sound. <laughs> Thomas Walrus, 61% chance of putting this heat head up. Wow. Oh, even oh. more now. Oh, this is a very I'm tough liking spot my chances for now. Thomas to get out of. Barrow has the flesh draw. That takes away the seven of diamonds. The tusks being put away. It's not good, says Thomas. It's changed nothing. Loads are split out. Well, not loads. <laughs> Five outs in the deck, Eight I believe. Eight for the split. Seven Eight for the, the split, he's right. <laughs> Non diamond. Nice answer. Thank you very much. We've lost a walrus. 
Good luck, Liz. Very competent Good player, luck. Thomas Walrus. His first time on the TV table, not successful. Queen seven, never a match for the king high. It held, and the Walrus quickly became the egg man. Lost all, almost half my stack in one hand against Kevin O'Connell, and after that, I really didn't have chips to play with anymore. And had to go all in with Queen seven in the end. So, what do you do? I can ma manage that even. Huh? It's the big man against the little lady. And the little lady is going to need a Can big I hand shake, here. Oh. But uh, LaSalle, with Good over luck. a 2 to 1 yeah. chip lead, and it's going to be a funny kind of head up with the blind so small, Roland. Okay. Yes, Jesse, it's. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of play in this, uh, and uh, Liz will fancy her chances of coming back to chip away at LaSalle. At the same time, Barrow. You can't really fault him for uh, what he's done so far. He's he's even shown a couple moves. Yeah, you know, it's it's funny, Roland, because uh, Liz. Um, Thank you. I think she, part of her style involves these small informational oh. raises, and uh, you know it can be against a blunt weapon. It can be very uh, well. That's blunt weapons work well against the sharp knives. Check. No race. I'm sure Marcelo is feeling tremendous confidence right now. He is he's on top of the world. And uh, Liz down to a hundred thousand now. She's basically five to one against. But the only thing going in her favor is the size of the blind. Check. You think that um, six thousand? Lasalle has worked out that uh, Liz does want to chip away, and that's perhaps why he said, "Well, I'm going to get my chips in first in the big pots." I think Lasalle's uh, played the first ball exactly perfect. <laughs> I think so too. And I think Pass. that uh, if I was him, I'd be advising him to be raising a lot pre-flop, betting strongly, keep the pots big. And that's exactly what he's uh, shown as his intention. There's a situation for LaSalle right now. If he can force Liz to get all of her money in on some kind of gamble, even were she to double up, she'll still be nearly two to one against. Uh, th there might be a, an argument that LaSalle might not even take, mind taking slightly the worst of uh, an all-in coup here. You know, if he can get his money in a, in a 40-60, I think that that would be a acceptable. Cool. You know? cool. A king jack against uh, an ace queen, I think. I think he'd take that now. Raise 16,000 more. Liz not backing off. The ace, she says. Worth more moolah. It is. Pass. These next couple of pots are going to be very crucial, Roland. The difference between Liz having about 100,000 in chips and Working her way up to 150 is uh, it's a difference of a double through, really. Yeah, it, is, it really is. These small pots are is everything for Lisa at the moment. She needs to be making sure that she's, you know, she needs to go up to 140, 150. She goes down to 60k, 70k. She's starting to look short. Pass. She has done well to protect sort of her nest egg. That hundred thousand that she started with, uh, guarding it like a mother hen. Well, Liz, Liz, um, she's been around the game a long time, despite her youthful look. She's been uh, playing uh, many years in LA, and she, she's been in this situation before in TV tournaments. She played in the Premier League, where she was um, up against top quality opposition, and she's, she's proved herself uh, time and again. She'll, she'll know what to do in the situation. She, she won't be nervous. She won't. Uh, any mistakes she make will not be through through nerves. She cool. Be. She's uh, cool. made her living at this game. Oh, sorry. Quite sometimes a in these, years. sometimes in these head-ups, it's, it's as much as a, a mental battle as it is about the cards. Chip down. Uh, a lot of the people. No race. A lot of the pots. Everyone, both people have missed. So often, who, who takes first action wins the pot. Here comes a flop, and this is great news for Liz Lou. I don't think she'll mind playing a big pot check. here. Check. Check. Wow, that check on the flop may have just saved LaSalle. 
both think they're trapping, don't they? They do. Wow, that could slow the action down significantly. Check. 8,000. The second check by Liz. Still a check raise? Yes. Raised. All red. All in. All oh. raised, all in. Wow. Oh. First raise was up to 35. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All in and call. It happened so quick, Roland. It, it did, and uh, unfortunately for Lasalle, he doesn't have a club draw. He's not going to like what he sees, but he does have outs. Good aim. Good hand. An ace, a king, or a six? Yes. Nice. 230. Lasalle will still be the chip leader no matter what happens. Oh, and that he fourth had the club. club wow, he did. Welcome back. I'll be happy and you be sad. The usual result 000. when it's one on one. And right now, Liz Liu in second position. Marcel Barrows on the verge of coming through one of the toughest heats in recent memory. And my, doesn't he look strong. How much of that is? Focused. You mentioned. Roland, that uh, obviously a big part of these head-up matches is the mental game rather than the actual play. And obviously, we know Liz is very strong mentally. I, I think the cell is kind of cut from the same cloth. You know, guys who are very successful in business usually are. It's just a question of how the cell deals with going from being in the lead to being behind. Or, I mean, he's oh. still in the lead, but it will feel to him like he's got 230 and Liz has that many. No race. He's doubled up Liz. He just needs to keep his... Uh... I wonder if this trap is recommended for LaSalle. He's got a very calm eye on Liz Lou right now. 8,000. How does she want to play this? A straight draw. With two over cards. I think she'll call. Call. One thing um, Liz might take to heart right now, Roland, is that um, those small raises that she's so fond of, she, you know, using them less often unless she plans to call them all in. 8,000. And will she recognize this nine as a winning card? I think she will. I think she'll, she'll want to find out where she is. Make the, maybe make the pot even bigger now with, the, with a lot of draws. I can see her raising here. And is she prepared to call the re-raise? Raise to 25,000. I don't think they will be making that reckless all in this time. He's going to have to let it go. Yeah. Pass. It's all Liz Liu in the head up so far. It has been. LaSalle got the first strike in, but Liz has fought back, and now she has, oh, nearly twice as much as she started with. She's closing in on parity, and uh, LaSalle will undoubtedly be worried that this little diva from L.A. is going to steal his, uh, his moment. It looks so good for him after oh. two levels. She's come right back into it. It's very exciting. Yeah, it is pretty exciting. <laughs> Liz, having flown out from LA, she hasn't flown to make up the numbers. She'll, she'll be wanting to win this. Oh, she got she's off the out plane and into her poker suit. She's out flopped him again. Maybe Check. she wore that on the plane, Jesse. You just don't know where this guy. <laughs> Three sevens on the turn, Check. she's trapping. The cell not biting. Wonder. 
just thinking if there's any chance that Liz might check there. Not because she expected to get a bet out of LaSalle, but because she wouldn't mind showing that she is capable of making uh, big traps three times in a row. I guess that's not really something you have to worry about. Do you ever do that? Um. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> I sometimes do it, not 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 to give uh, information away, but just uh, because it it can be a very deceptive play. But as I say, in heads up, uh, if you're playing a, a cash game against someone, heads up. It, it's nice to show that you have all these uh, tricks in your arsenal because you can get free cards out of it, and people will check to you when they should be value betting their hands. Because I mean, unlike most of the heads up we see in this format, this right. is one that looks like it could go on a while. Although, 11, having said more. that, Lassell faced with a decision here where he can make a big raise, a small raise, or no raise. I think he needs to find a, a raise somewhere in the middle. Limping's very dangerous. She's already made 11,000 more. I mean, just calling is dangerous. I'd like to see him make it another 25, 30, 40. Liz, she hasn't taken her eyes oh. off his chips. And uh, obviously, the, I mean, the problem that Barrow is going to have here is that uh, if she doesn't hit, he might not get paid. Yeah, extract extracting chips is going to be a problem. And an ace or a king on the flop will really scare him. Well, it's a, it's a good flop for, for LaSalle. And Liz is probably thinking that it's a good flop for, for her, too. Yeah, LaSalle's done well doing his own thing here. 12,000. <laughs> this is very marginal for Liz, isn't it? Cool. What is she thinking about right now? She's just hoping he doesn't have her beat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. A diamond could really slow the action down. An eight probably will too. Check. Cell's playing this very trappy. Do you think the Cell still has, thinks he has the best hand? I mean, it's hard to put Liz on an eight if you work the hand through from the beginning. All in. 22,000 raised all in. Wow. I think. Wow. See, this bet isn't good because he's only really getting a call now if he's behind. This will be folding this. Well, that's well said, Roland, but the, the image of the thing uh, is that LaSalle is threatening this big bet so often. It, it kind of scrambles with your mind a little bit when people are playing like this, doesn't it? What's Liz? Is there any hand she can beat? A big diamond draw, maybe? Two diamonds, but... Yeah, yeah I don't think he's extracted the maximum here. He could have called and bet again on the river. Possibly got a call out of Liz, but here... Liz likes to call, but she's not calling off all her chips with just a pair of fives in this spot. Right. Oh. <gasps> oh, oh my, oh my, I think it's over. I think it's over. LaSalle's done it. Liz, Liz is surprised. I'm shocked. What about you, Roland? It's a massive mistake from Liz, I'm afraid. I think that's the only way to say it. It's a, it's a, it's a, she didn't need to gamble in that spot and she knows it. You can see from her face. She knows that's a big mistake, unfortunately. LaSalle Barrow, that's the third or fourth time that he just went all in massively over the top. And, uh, it, <laughs> wow. Liz is covered here. Oh, there's, there's one pot, there's one card to come, is there? There is one card to come. They're gonna deal the river now. Anything but a five. I couldn't see LaSalle getting called there um, by any hand that um, he wasn't beating, but... 
Of course, it could have been a five. I, I, I tell you, I, I thought it was over. I, I got completely mixed up there, Roland. I mean, it was such a huge call by Liz. It is now. It is over now. And Barrow's going to the semifinals. That pot ended up being 516,000. This last heat has perhaps been the most exciting. And that last hand, Barrow played in a way, Roland, that you thought was not going to extract the maximum, but he did on the turn, didn't he? Very surprised he was called, very surprised. But uh, congratulations to LaSalle Barrow. He's, he's a worthy winner. He's beaten five very strong players in this heat. And uh, the underdog has come through in fine style in 53 hands. He's played unconventionally, but he's, uh, he's deceived some of the top players into putting their money in. He did exactly the same thing to Kevin O'Connell as he did to, to Liz. I went with my gut instinct. I was wrong, I guess. <laughs> I was right at, at observing, you know, before the flop. He did, you know, he did hesitate. He wanted to raise, but he didn't, so. Would you like to know what makes this game of No Limit Hold'em special? It's the power of the all-in, and never so magnificently displayed then by LaSalle Barrow. Congratulations, you LaSalle. You giant slayer, you. <laughs> <laughs> you just demolished this table. I, I just had the, 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 the right hands. It was just... Uh... It was a very tough lineup, and when you got all in against Liz Liu, uh, what was your strategy against her? I was going to be patient. I, I, I was a massive chip leader. I already give her a lot of chips uh, just before the all in, and I thought, you just have to take your time, be patient, and wait for the right hand. Well, that hand that you gave her some chips mm. might have been key to setting up the last one. Mm. She didn't believe you. Yeah, yeah. Now, you're in a, a bit of very good form in this poker table, LaSalle. Mm -hmm. You made the semifinal your last televised event, mm -hmm. but didn't get through. Here you are in the semifinal again. What are your plans? Try harder. <laughs> <laughs> to get through. I, I, I hope I get through. Well, it was a magnificent table here mm. today. Congratulations again, and yeah. best of luck in the semifinals. Thank you very much. It's LaSalle Bauer through to the semifinals, but he'll be in the second semi. Next time the semifinals start, huge names, the winners sitting at the table, including, of course, Ian Fraser and Jimmy White. So see you next time on the PartyPoker.net World Open 3.